Stories, and we're with John Heald on Carnival. Again. Hello. And uh, he has quick fire questions on his Facebook page. I so, do. So we're kind of firing them back at him. And these are things that, as we've been on the ship, other people have said if you're going to talk to John Heald, ask him this. Which, unfortunately, is mainly a list of complaints, but that's how people what are. What a shocker. <laughs> that's all right. Other than the first one, we've got you talk about yaks a lot. So. Mm. We were just curious, have you ever met a yak? I have met a yak. Um, long, uh, a couple of... Recently I was in uh, a beautiful uh, little village called Karunt in Romania, which is, has one of the uh, largest yak farms in the world. And I just fell in love with the animal. They are beautiful, they are uh, uh, passive, and they look like me. So yes, I'm a huge yak fan. And I met one called George. Hello, George. Okay, then the next one was... Uh these were the gift for the platinums and uh, yes. golds, and people no, just wondered what platinum was up diamond. with that. <laughs> well, you know, the people who don't like something are always the most vocal, whereas the people who love it usually say nothing. Um, I think it's really important to say that we have over 100,000 platinum guests. And if you're asked to buy a present with a budget, for 100,000 guests and you've got to find something that every single 100,000 people like, it's not easy. This one was not our most popular, I'm the first to admit. However, we put the new one in the cabins already, which is the little um, ESB, USD, US USB. that's the one, charger in the, in the packaging and uh, everybody loves that. So we've had a, a miss and now we've got a hit. Great. <laughs> All right. And then the next one was... Uh we get the coupons for, you know, if you're a gold or a platinum for the drinks, mm -hmm. but they always have, uh, you can only use it, you know, this time or this place, yeah. and it yeah. just seems like it would be better advertising if you could use it anytime, anywhere, because you might use it the first day, like something, and buy it again. Yeah, that's definitely one way of looking at it. There are operational considerations. Um, we have um, a, a loyalty program um, seminar within the company going on at the moment, and we're looking at all the things that we offer. Uh, right the way from first time cruises through to Diamond and, uh, and that's something that we are definitely looking at what we can do better. Okay. And then uh, one of the uh, people, our dinner companions one night said, uh, like, why, why don't they give us a coupon instead of, you know, fruit baskets and strawberries because a lot, a lot goes to waste and people don't like these and he went on a coupon where, you know, you could, maybe it's three dollars or whatever, go, go to the candy store or go get a milkshake or Again, you know, it's, it's, we, I think in a, in a way, if I'll be blunt, I think we've outgrown our current loyalty program. We have 100,000 plus 5,000 diamonds, um, and we have to, uh, we are looking at what we can do better. I can't say any more than that right now, but, and if this man would like something apart from a fruit basket that we send him to wish him great cruises, ask him to tell me and I'll happily send him something not strawberries he didn't like those either well i'm sure we can buy a picture of me on a trampoline in a jeep whatever he wants there you go whatever he wants just let me know i don't know he was a diamond so <laughs> he probably had everything i was gonna say maybe i can move the ship a little to the left for him or something but maybe. Uh, uh um i'll uh maybe tell him to, to find me we'll, we'll chat all right we'll chat then uh a lot of times you're asking you know on your Facebook, um, what about ships on a stick? Do people still want those? So yeah. we're wondering, you know, I know there's, they have a huge loyal following, so are ships it's, on a stick here to stay? You know, I send people things, for example, we had uh, somebody celebrating their 80th birthday on board this cruise, and uh, Jacinta sent them a, uh, a beautiful fruit basket, uh, wine and cheese, and a trophy. She came up to me today at the, at, the, at the diamond lunch, and she was like glowing, and didn't mention the wine, the fruit basket, didn't mention the bottle of a reasonably priced wine or the cheese platter for her 80th birthday but she'd got a trophy she'd got a solid gold plastic ship on a stick which cost 99 cents and is made in in uh, Timisoara and that for her was the be all and end all so I think there would be a serious mutiny and you would find me tied to the smokestack being flogged with a peacock's feather if I ever got rid of the, of the solid gold plastic trophy, so they're going nowhere. 
Good to know, because people love those. Have you got one yet? Yeah, actually. You do, okay. Uh, you won it? A couple of them. You won it? We won one on the Splendor. Right. For the Harry Potter trivia. Yeah, how about the Vista? And then, uh, let's see, on the Legend, our kids won one in a, um, not our kids, our grandkids won one in the um, digital scavenger hunt yes. for the um, kids' people. Camp Carnival. Camp Carnival. And then one mysteriously appeared in our room on this ship. I wonder how that got there. <laughs> Thank you, John Hill. I'm not just, I'm not a bad guy, really. I, I, I personally hand delivered that in my bathrobe. You weren't, you weren't they, on board yet, actually. While they were asleep. <laughs> yes, maybe you did. But we also love the laundry. Once you hit platinum and diamond, we love the laundry service. It's awesome. Yeah, anytime you can get someone else to wash your socks for you, great thing. Thanks for spending some time with me. Thank you. Thank you.